Hi, you're listening to the On The Daily Podcast and I'm your host, Danielle McCleary. On today's episode, I am sharing all about what it means to truly find your purpose and how to approach that, how to get closer to that purpose, what it means to create a higher frequency on this planet, and my opinion of what they mean when they, they whoever they are, when they say heaven on earth, what do they mean? I'm going to talk about all of that in today's episode. It is a little bit of a woo-woo episode, which if you know anything about me at this point, you know I'm going to give you strategy, but it's all going to come with a healthy dose of energetics. So buckle up and get ready because this episode is probably one of my favorites in a long time. Hey friend, welcome to On The Daily. I'm your host, Danielle McCleary, and I am a quantum business coach. I'm the host of this podcast, I'm a multi six figure entrepreneur, co founder, and president of Hype You Media and CEO of Danielle on the Daily Coaching. What I'm really interested in is helping you live a life and have a business that is a full body yes. So, through all of my education and all of my experience, I'm bringing you two episodes a week where I will guide you and give you the tools necessary to scale a massive, sustainable, and sexy business using your intuition, wealth energetics, and human design. What we can call it is business biohacking. So if you're down for that, then I say let's frickin' go. I'm so glad you're here. Before we get into that, I just have to share uh, some ways to work with me that are coming up. Uh, starting August 1st, zero to launch which is my 90 day business launching blueprint. So this is good for anyone who wants to launch a business, anyone who wants to relaunch a business, or maybe somebody that already has a business, but never really did it with a lot of strategy or never implemented any tools into the process at the beginning. This program is a really good program for you. It is literally 90 days. Everything I know about starting a business at this point, I've launched quite a few, but everything I know about starting a business, what to put, what to use, what to not use, what you need to pay attention to, what you can pass on. I love this program so much. It is module-based. It is self-led. You do have live Q and A's with me throughout the process, but you will have lifetime access. So you get to take this course completely on your own time, which is amazing. The second way to work with me that's coming up starting August 8th, 808 is the I'm that bitch three week mini mastermind. So my mastermind scale to six is my rolling mastermind. People come into that, you know, for a six or a 12 month commitment. I'm that bitch is literally going to be a three week, very intimate, close proximity container. And it's different because like, for example, if you're in my scale to six mastermind, you get access to all of my courses and everything. You don't get access to I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch is completely separate from any other container I do. And no one in any other container has access to it unless they invest in it. And that's because this course isn't for business. This, this mastermind is really going to be for personal power. It's going to be standing in your own leadership for yourself. It's going to be about finding your way and how to navigate through the ups and downs of limiting beliefs and your ego speaking to you and your subconscious mind and these things that we do that are almost automatic that we're not even thinking of, how to overcome those, how to reframe them, how to really, really step into that version of yourself that says like, yeah, I am that bitch. I'm the bitch that does whatever I want. I'm the bitch that will always, always, always prioritize my peace. And if you are someone who is just very, very much ready for that kind of jump in this mastermind, we are going from great to excellent. So we're not, I'm not going to speak to anybody like they're a damaged bird. I'm not going to speak to anybody like they don't know what they want. I know that the women inside of this container will know what they want and what they are desiring is a close proximity container where they can have open, real ass conversations about what it means to be a woman on this planet at this time, whether that be a mother, an entrepreneur, a wife, it doesn't matter. This space is going to be powerful and I'm so excited. And it's honestly one of the questions I get asked the most, like, Danielle, how did you become so confident? Danielle, how do you have such a good relationship with your son's dad? Danielle, how do you remain so positive when you've experienced so much grief? It's because of the things I'm going to talk about inside of this mini mastermind. It's three weeks long. It's so, so, so good. And 
It's currently $808 and that price is going to go up tomorrow. So if you want to be a part of that, you have to send me a DM on Instagram, Danielle underscore on the daily, or email my team at hey at daniellemcleary.com and they will point you towards the application process. But spaces are going quickly. I'm only taking 10 and I think currently we're at, I think we already have five in there. So it is going to go fast and I want you in there if this is something that's calling to you. Uh, the last thing is my scale to six mastermind, which is my rolling mastermind for entrepreneurs looking to hit that six or seven figure mark. So whether that's six figures a year or six figures a month, it's just the people that are scaling their business and want the support to do it. Uh, there is group coaching calls. You have the option to add on private calls. If you're a VIP, there's, uh, skills calls. So anything from copywriting to operations calls, to learning how to set up email marketing, learning how to set up automation in your business. We have skills calls. We also have astrology readings once a month with our astrologer. We also have quarterly virtual retreats, This is the creme de la creme of anything I offer because you also get access to all of my programs and all of my masterclasses in your very own member portal. So this is like honestly for the entrepreneurial men and women who are, for lack of a better word, not fucking around. Um, And I am currently enrolling for a mid-August start. So if you are interested, again, DM me, email my team. We'll get you hooked up with the uh, application process and get you rolling. So. With that, let's get into this episode. Okay, so this will be a little bit of a different episode than I normally do because I don't even necessarily know if it has to do with business. It's been something I've really been like, I don't know, it's been something I've really been grappling with lately. You know, I recently started to work with an astrologer in business and I I'm learning how to run my business with the lunar cycle. So when the moon is waxing, I am launching, I am putting out content. I am really in a building phase. Once that peaks after a full moon and we start, the moon starts to wane, I am going within, I'm doing a lot of refinement. I'm pouring into myself. I'm doing a lot of self-care, all those things. And I'm trying to run my business in this lunar cycle. Well, it's been working. It's been making me a ton more money, but it's also been clearing things off my plate, like stress and worry and overthinking and overanalyzing and whatever else comes with this idea that I need to catch up or keep up with something. So without having that, it's given me a lot of time for reflection in my life. And so I went, I started seeing a, um, spinal energetics chiropractor who really works with, again, the energy of your spine and how, your spine informs your reptilian brain or your subconscious mind. The reptilian brain is the brain, the part of your brain that is very much like it's it's survival instinct. So it's going to do whatever it can to keep you safe. And that's why it's so connected to your subconscious mind. So I've been doing some work with a practitioner who is going to help me kind of release any stored trauma I'm holding in my body around the way that I gave birth to my son, around any, um, you know, things from childhood with my parents and fighting and divorce, my own divorce, my breakup from my son's dad, and just any trauma that I'm holding, my the grief of losing my dad, that's such a big one, just any stored trauma in my body that maybe I have consciously done all I can do with. And now it's just time to energetically move some of the beliefs and the, the memorization to that trauma through my body. So I've been doing a lot of that. I've also been looking into gene keys, which is kind of an extension of human design. And I've, I've done a little bit of work, but it's never been something I like dove in, like dove in? Sure. Dove in really far into. And lately I have been, and I, I have been doing a lot of work around like, what is my purpose on this planet? And so that's kind of what I want to talk about today is this idea of purpose. Like, what are we here to do? What is our life's work? And There's some people that don't believe that everybody has a life's mission or a life's purpose. I disagree. I think we do. And what's really crazy is what I found out my life's purpose was. I've always known about myself, but I also for a long time have thought that I'm apathetic instead of just working from a place of of light. And I want to explain it a little bit. So um, my my true gift has always been acceptance. And what I mean by acceptance is I 
I have always, or at least for the last good chunk of my life, I don't judge people based on their beliefs, who they vote for, who they pray to. And I don't just mean that in like, a, I don't, I don't judge. I don't mean it like that. I mean, like, I truly don't care what somebody decides to do with their life because it has no bearing on what I do with mine. And that level of knowing for myself, I've always felt is like an apathy, like, oh, I must be just like apathetic to the human condition because I'll see my friends get so triggered by the actions of others or so triggered by the the energy that other people put into the world or the choices other people make or who other people vote for or pray to. And I'm always like, I just can't care. And I don't care. I think that, and I've always thought something was wrong with me, but what I'm figuring out is that my, my purpose is to help the collective find what is heaven on earth or the highest frequency. And the highest frequency is a love and freedom. And I think freedom is love. I think the, the, the freedom that we can all feel when we are truly in love with what we do and how we do it and who we get to do it with is so, so powerful. Um, and I, I think everybody has a purpose. I think everybody has a thing that they are here to do in this human existence. And whether you believe we have multiple human existence or one, like I really do believe that everybody is here for a reason. I don't believe anybody was just kind of like plopped here to be a placeholder. I just don't feel that in the collective energy. And so when I'm thinking about purpose and I'm thinking about frequency and I'm thinking about creating what is known as heaven on earth, right? I think about a race. And if we, the human consciousness are all running a race and the finish line is that highest frequency, it's that heaven on earth, it's that collective expansiveness, it's that rising of consciousness. It's, you know, for some, it could be getting to know Christ, right? It's whatever that is, it's that at the finish line. And we are all running this race. And the way that I look at society, and I think And I know this is a gift of mine because I know not everybody feels this way. Uh, My gift is to see it as someone could be running this race. Somebody could be crawling this race. I could be sprinting and somebody else could be jogging. I feel all of those are okay. Not one is better than the other. I truly don't believe anything or any one is superior or inferior to anyone else. And that's really crazy to say out loud because I've I've said that to people before and they go, well, yeah, except for blank or except for these people or except for those people. And I think the real test comes when you can truly say that without an ellipsis at the end, without a dot, 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 without a except for. If you can just say that. We are all here to run our own race. And no matter how you choose to get to the finish line, I believe that is okay. And I know that that I, I I feel that to be true because I don't want everyone to be running the race that I'm running because it's one experience. Somebody else has an entirely different experience than I do. And they have different, they've seen different things and they've felt different things and they've had to endure different things than I have and than that person has. And so I don't care if somebody is running, jogging, sprinting, or crawling All of that is okay as long as we're moving forward. Because if I'm moving forward and I'm leading with my light energy and one of my gifts, you know, the shadow of a gift of like spiritual maturity, the shadow of that is obscurity, right? It's this um, giving my power away to things that I believe in. And it's actually kind of crazy because I've always said like, I don't really believe in anything. I think there's a lot of tools that have benefited me positively, but I don't believe in anything as much as I believe in myself. I don't give my power away to anything. I don't care if it's a a religious figure. I don't care if it's a political figure. I don't care if it's the person who created human design. I don't care. I don't give my power away to anyone because at the end of the day, the thing that I can trust the most is myself. The thing that I can lean on my the most is myself. And that's not to say that I don't lean on people. That's not to say that I don't have support from people around me and understand the greatness and the value of that support. What I'm saying is I am here to run my race. 
And it doesn't matter if the person next to me is crawling because I'm not distracted. I am here for a reason. And that reason is to help people reach heaven on earth, highest frequency, love, acceptance, freedom. The way that I do that is by teaching people how to stand in their personal power. That's why I always say I used to do things where I I cultivated a lot of followers, people that would, if I said jump, people would say how high. And that didn't feel good for me. And I never knew why. Like I, I always would feel weird about that. And at the same time, I was so addicted to that praise. And I had really attached my worth to that praise. So when I stopped wanting that from my life, the praise stopped and I really went through it. I got into this like really depressive state. And what I realized is it was never about me being the leader and other people following me. It was me. It was always supposed to be about me leading myself. And by me doing that and that fire and that frequency of love that I lead with, that is going to help other people do the same thing for them. And so if we're all running our races, right? Like you're going to inspire the people you're meant to inspire. I know that I inspire people. I know that I motivate people, but it's not because I motivate them to follow me. I truly believe that I'm here to help. Like the way that I motivate people, the way that I lead people is by teaching them to lead themselves. So yeah, you may be, you may be jogging like me, but then you may get to a point where you're like, you know what, Danielle, I'm going to go run now. I'm going to go and I'm going to run and I'm not going to jog with you anymore. I'm going to go run. And I support that. I, it doesn't bother me if people, you know, d- don't do the same things I do, because if we're all moving forward, then that's what matters. And it's, it was said in the Kabbalah, it says Elohim. Elohim means all of us or none of us. And I think what we, we, we get to as a society is sure. Everybody you have got the, got the guy crawling, walking, jogging, running, sprinting. But then you have the guy that's crawling, who's yelling at everyone saying, this is the only way to do it. And then people that want to jog or people who want to crawl are like, yeah, that's the only way to do it. And then you have the guy that's sprinting being like, well, no, this is the only way to do it. And then people who think that sounds good are like, yeah, that's the only way to do it. And then you have all these people in the middle who are now, they're not moving forward. They're not, they're not moving towards that higher frequency of love and freedom they're now distracted and they're looking right and left and going, well, what am I supposed to be doing? What are we supposed to be doing? And I think this is what's happening in our world. And that's why it's so confusing. And that's why we have so many people so divided and blaming each other when really we were never meant to do that. We were never meant to divide ourselves and and judge each other based on our differences. We were meant to align over our differences and charge forward knowing that it's okay. And so, you know, I. I sit here and I see people that are just so convicted in what they believe in that they have no ability to see outside of themselves. They think that sprinting is the only way to run this race. And they refuse to even pay attention to the person who's crawling and see that that is also a viable option, albeit slower. And that's just something that I have never really identified with. I have always seen it as, well, that person's crawling. That's cool that person's sprinting. That's also cool. In real life, that could be, oh, okay. That person is a Christian. Awesome. Oh, that person is a pagan. Awesome. Oh, okay. That person is an atheist. That's cool. Are you moving forward? Are you, are you charging towards the higher frequency of love and freedom? Great. But it's when people try when they believe in something so hard that now they've outsourced their power to the thing they believe in as if the thing they believe in can truly save them. I believe that the only person who can save us is us. And, and I, I, I don't know, I don't say that in this way of you can't trust anyone. You can't rely on anyone. You just got to do it by yourself. I don't believe that. I, I really don't. I think by not expecting other people to save you and you being able to save yourself and me being able to save myself, we actually become more alike and more aligned with people that we don't necessarily, we're not running with or jogging with. We're not running the same race as. 
And it's so crazy because I get people all the time that'll ask me like, well, how are you such good friends with Christians? And how are you such good friends with these people when you don't believe the same things? And I'm always like, I don't understand why believing the same things has to determine whether or not we can support and love one another. I don't understand that. And I never will. And honestly, I think that's why I am such a successful entrepreneur and why I do have such a diverse business and why I do have such a, like a unique way of looking at things. It truly, I think spiritual maturity is detaching from belief. I truly think that spiritual maturity is the ability to believe it for yourself without needing other people to believe it with you. It's this being able to run your race and trust that you're empowering and impacting the people you're meant to without causing distraction. Because I truly believe that distraction is what leads to obscurity and this like idealism outside of ourself that prevents us from moving forward. I really do believe that. And I, I wanted to do an episode on this because I think it's this, it's this journey of moving from obscurity to light, right? And moving from what is known as the shadow of obscurity to the gift of true idealism. Like in an ideal world, we are all running our own race and I'm not going to run the same race as someone else. And they're not going to run the same race as me. But as long as we are all moving forward toward that light, towards heaven on earth, towards love, then it's okay. And that's easier. I I realize that that's easier said than done. And I realize that there's so many people out there who'll be like, yeah, well, I get so much judgment when I try to step out of bounds or when I don't do what my church wants me to do, or when I don't do what my family wants me to do, or if I do something different than my partner. And yeah, That is going to happen because we live in such a world right now where everyone wants everyone to run the same race as them to make themselves feel better. And ultimately, I don't believe that that's what we're here to do. I believe that I am here to run my own race and my race is focused in love and acceptance. And I I do believe that by leading ourselves, by learning to truly stand in our own power, by learning to stand so powerfully in ourselves and trust so deeply in ourselves, we are spreading nothing but love and the highest frequency to the planet. So I want you to think about like, what are you here for? What is your purpose, right? What is the reason you are on this planet? I am on this planet to help as many people as I can lead themselves epically. I do that through a various of ways wealth energetics, human design, business coaching. I do it through a lot of different modes. But even like when I do a human design reading, the first thing I tell people is like, look, this is a tool. Don't treat it as like your deity. Don't treat it as like your God, like end all be all. Because that is this, that puts you into the obscurity of like, this is right. Everything else is wrong. And that's just not true. Because every single person has different experiences. Every single person has different values. Every single person has different beliefs to what they know to be true. And if every person could stop looking outside of themselves for other people to conform to their beliefs, but instead just got so powerful in what you stand for, then you're opening up this beautiful collective of voices and ideas and i really do believe that that's what leads to a highest the highest possible frequency i do believe that that is what creates heaven on earth so i want you to think about that what is your purpose what are you here to do and can you do that so powerfully that you don't need other people to run your race with you nor are you triggered by other people who run a different race than you and instead you celebrate the way that other people run their race you want to crawl cool crawl You want to pray to God every single day and thank him for every gift you've been given? Do it. I'm going to talk to the universe and I'm going to co-create with the universe. And I love that you found something that works for you, that lights your soul on fire and brings you closer to that highest frequency of love. You want to work for a corporation? You don't want to do entrepreneurship? That's fine. You don't have to. I'm going to be an entrepreneur because I believe like what I want for my life is X, Y, and Z. But it's okay if you don't. You want to eat meat? Great, eat meat. 
I'm going to choose to not eat meat because that's what's better for me. And it keeps my battery fuller and it helps me moving forward in a higher frequency. If me eating meat does that for you, that's awesome, right? We could talk about that with politics. We could talk about that with religion. We could talk about that with money. We could talk about that with anything, but ultimately it's either moving us forward or it's causing a distraction. There's no in between. There's no middle ground. And if it's not moving us forward, it is causing a distraction. And if we are distracted, our frequency is lower. And if our frequency is lower, then Elohim cannot be. All of us or none of us cannot be. All of us cannot be. So with that, I will leave you to ponder. Let me know what you think of this episode. Sometimes I like to throw these in and I know I know like people will come on here and just they want to hear me talk about like how to navigate the dips in your business, which is what I'll be talking about in my next episode. But Sometimes we just got to have a little reality check. And honestly, if this is resonating with you, I invite you into one of my containers. I invite you into I'm that bitch because this is kind of the stuff that we're going to be navigating and talking through. And I would love to have you in there. So with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And I'll be back on Friday with how to navigate the dips in your business. Bye. Bye.